Okay, I'm three days out from my triathlon and I'm starting my taper. I was planning to do the whole entire week, but I uh, just decided not to because I wanted to get a little, little bit more in. Anyway, the triathlon distance is supposed to be a 200 meter swim, a 12K bike and a two and a half K run. But I did just get updated that it was changed because there was an oil spill where the swim was supposed to be held. So now it's a 1.5K run followed by a a 12k bike and a 2.5 run so it's a little unfortunate for me because i was planning to get ahead in the swim and the bike and then try to hold on for the run because my run is probably the worst out of the three but i guess i'm just gonna have to try really hard now anyway i just finished up my last bike ride before the race and now i'm gonna go wash my bike and make sure it's all race ready okay so as i clean my bike i'm gonna voice over and basically do a rundown on what I plan to do for during the race. So for the first part of the race, which is a 1.5K run, I plan to not go out too fast. So I'm gonna try to hit a four minute kilometer. And then for the second, for the 500 meters after that, go a little bit slower than a four minute pace. So try getting around six minutes for that. And then for the transition, I'm honestly just gonna try to do that as fast as I can. Hope I get a good spot so I can um, rack my bike. And um, yeah, the transition should be about a minute though. And then for the bike, I'm gonna try to average around 33 kilometers per hour, which should set me up for about 22, 23 minutes on the bike for the 12K bike ride. And then after that, I'm gonna try to transition out of the bike in about a minute and then run again. If I have enough energy left on the bike, I'm just gonna send it and try to average around four minute kilometers on the two and a half K run afterwards. This is my first official event triathlon. So I'm just gonna try to learn from this experience and not try to go super crazy on it because I'm trying to get into longer distances like Olympic distance and the half Ironman, which is also what I'm training for because the day after I do this race, I'm gonna be doing my first half Ironman. That's pretty much it though on the plan of how I split my race. All right, it is now the night before the race, and I've set out all my stuff for the for tomorrow where I'm going to go race and do my competition. It's the morning of the race, I'm getting ready to head out. Race starts in about an hour, and I just finished setting up my bike here at the bike rack. So I'm going to go warm up and get ready to go. All right, here's the start line. I ended up running the first one and a half K in 6.03, and then I had a one minute and three seconds uh, T1 transition. Um, this is the bike. I ended up coming from 10th place all the way down to second place on the bike, and the person in first place was right in front of me, like probably about 20 seconds ahead. And here I did my 12K in 23 minutes and two seconds. Go, Connor! So after I finished the bike, I only had a 2.5K run left to do, and about two minutes into the 2.5k run, I ended up passing the guy in first place and taking the first position. But unfortunately, um, later on, I ended up making the wrong turn and I ended up going into the wrong loop. So I ran a 1.5k instead of a 2.5k and that caused me to lose my position and not get first place. I think even though the race kind of went south at the end, um, I still had pretty good timing and pretty good splits for for the distance that I did cover. So I'm just going to treat this race like it was a practice so that I can do better on my next race, which will probably be a much longer distance, like um, an Olympic distance or a half Ironman. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you can watch my new half Ironman video coming out soon. That's